it's all about the angle and I probably should invest in some better lighting rather than the sun on one side of my face hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while so I haven't been filming a whole lot um, recently it's been a couple of weeks now but I wanted to come back a little bit and kind of combine my what I used in a month plus what I got in a month so like a monthly haul kind of thing I did two separate videos for like the month of May but um yeah I thought maybe it'd be better to combine the two so here we are <laughs> and um I have some other videos planned but sometimes with my busy schedule with work and everything it can be a little bit difficult but you know this is my creative outlet that I decided to do so let's get into it shall we um I'm thinking I'm going to start with what I used in a month since that's going to be like the teeniest tiniest thing Alrighty, so I have some wet wipes I'm not gonna get into those but wet wipes I have had this body spray from Bath and Body Works. It's just the Japanese cherry blossom. And I have had this for ever. And I'm finally, there's a little bit left, but. It's gonna be gone soon anyway. So there's that. Put that right back, back here on my bookshelf. Um, I have a body wash. It's the, um, get the air out of it. Skinny Dip Radiant Orchid. It's by Pure Romance. Uh, a couple of my sorority sisters are a part of this company and they do the um, parties thing, thing. And I bought this a while ago. Finally used that up. What other things do I got in the ways of beauty here okay so this was the Clinique acne solutions clinical clearing gel this is just a sample I got from Sephora uh, eh, whatever it's not gonna focus spot treatment thing and then I have the Clinique clarifying lotion this is for combination to oily skin and that's empty that's just what the bottle looks like it was okay. Both of those were okay. Um, I have really bad... It's not really that bad, but it's like hormonal acne. I've talked about it before. But I just... I'm like, I'm 25 years old. When is the acne going to stop? <laughs> anyway, I have a face mask. You might have seen this in my last video with my monthly haul. But it's the Pore Perfecting and Smoothing Sephora face mask it's the pineapple one that one was really nice it smelled nice and then I have an eye mask from Sephora as well it's the anti fatigue and anti dark circles pomegranate That's what the package looks like I liked this one too I like the gel ones I feel like they last a little bit long you know like they they don't dry out as quick so you can keep them on longer and in the ways of the wallflower movement that I had last month that I talked about. It's the sun, I'm using the sun drenched linen. This is just the tag off of it. So I used the, that. It's currently still working, working its way down, but whatever. And tea, you know, I'm trying to use up my tea because I'm a little bit obsessed. And, of course, I went to the grocery store and bought two more. So, hee hee. Um, this is the cherry blossom one from David's Tea. That's just the packaging. I have a hand sanitizer. This is from the men's collection. It's called Noir. I liked that one. It smelled nice. And that's it for empties this month. I try to get through stuff as best I can, however... It doesn't always work out in my favor. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, I might have to take the camera off for one of the parts to this. Yeah, so that might be in the next clip here. All right, y'all, this is the part of the video where I take you off the tripod just because I'm lazy and I don't want to take these things down, especially this figure because it's... It was really difficult for me to get him in any pose whatsoever, but here we are. This, focus, okay. So this is the new Kaneki figurine that I got from AkihabaraOtaku.com. Isn't he gorgeous? It's literally like the same one as the one on the shelf below it, but I don't know why they did this this way, but for some reason his shoes are blue. Why, I don't understand. Anyway, mushroom bag, seen it before in a previous video I'm sure. And if we come down here to the shelf, I found this, um, what are they called, the pop figures? I found this Toka Kirishima at a half price bookstore. Awesome, isn't that? I didn't really hardly pay anything for her. So that was pretty cool. And see, there's the other figurine of Kaneki that I was talking about earlier. Moving on. From the same website as Akihabara, uh, from the same website, AkihabaraOtaku.com, the same website I got my Sailor Mercury figure, aka Amy. Um, I got my Sailor. Mars, and then I got Sailor Jupiter as well, and I put them all together. Don't they look cozy? It's part of the break timeline. I'm not sure. I can't remember off the top of my head what brand it is. Well, anyway, moving on to some books. I got, I couldn't really find another omnibus of the Dance and the Vampire Bund series, but, um, at half price books I found number books number four five and six which is the next three sets that I needed so I bought them until I can find an omnibus and then I'll probably end up selling them but I also got the volumes 10 through 12 omnibus so I pulled them out so that I I'd know you know which books I bought because I have a tendency to forget and I just had to quickly pull out this one um, this is the complete complete book of correspondences. Now, um, I've been a witch since I was 14 years old. I have fallen out of the practice a couple of times just because of lack of supplies, I guess. Like, I really didn't have the money to um, have a lot of ritual items, I guess, so I kind of just felt well, if I can't have those things, then I guess I can't really practice and get better at them. But, um, you don't really... I found out, figured out later that you that you really just... You know, you, you can just figure it out, I guess. <laughs> um, there's a... Actually, let me flip you guys around. There's um, a witch YouTuber on here called The Witch of Wonderlust, and she kind of goes through... Um, better lighting here she kind of goes through um, you don't really need a whole lot of stuff in order to be able to perform spells etc um, so she's got a really good video I'll try to link it down below made with coconut milk I had the Moroccan oil the repair one because my hair was it's been bleached and dyed a couple of times and it probably could use a dye again but um, I wanted to have my hair I want to help my hair be healthy again because it was getting on the dry side anyway ooh, ooh, whatever there's that and then the last empties video that I had I had cotton rounds I bought more it's just the Carter brand and eh, nobody did and my mom and I went to Meyer one of these past weekends and um, there was a sale on towels. I think they were like two to three dollars. I kind of saw one being pulled out of the bag. Ooh, I kept the receipt. Good for me. That way I can show you what I got. 
Okay, so how much were the towels? Okay, two seventy nine each. So, and then I got a pair of shorts. I'll show you here in a second. All right, let me show you the towels. They're all the summery kitchen towels. This is a, I think the summer kitchen towel. Yeah, it's probably just the Meyer brand. This is the mermaid one. That's cute. No, you want to sniff? My dog loves to sniff. She likes to be in everything that I do. And of course, all you know that if you've watched my videos before, you can hear her jingling in the background because I don't, <laughs> I feel bad if I put her in the crate while I'm filming because that's typical mom, mom, dog mom life, right? And these are catacorns. Get it? Cat, cat unicorns, catacorns. And then this is not a pug. It's a French bulldog because French bulldogs have the pointed ears and pugs have the flop, floppy ears. And this says dog days of summer. That's the other kitchen towel that I got. Of course, Wednesday's gonna sniff that. And then I, I got a pair of shorts for that. I like these, they're cute. They're kind of like, I don't know if anyone remembers these, but like the nail polish, the cracked nail polish, that's what it looks like to me, like cracked paint. I like it. It's not really goth goth, but to me it's like, it's pretty. So. So that's what I got from Meyer one weekend with my mom. She always tells me about sales and whatnot, because she works there. Um, always tells me about sales. And, oh, I can't wait till the Halloween stuff comes out. I'm pretty sure they're already out. Anyway, I have went to Bath and Body Works because they were having a 75% off on select items sale to get rid of their summer collections to bring in the fall collections which I think they have already and I'm super excited about some of the candles because your girl is kind of obsessed with the scent of blueberry <laughs> and bakery food scents anyway I went to Bath and Body Works in store and they didn't have two candles that I really wanted so I made a purchase online that same day because candles, scent whore. Anyway, let's start with the bath stuff. I bought a loofah, pretty cheap, I think. This original price was like $3.95. I don't have the receipt, hold on. I do have the receipt, I lied. This is their stuff for their leaflet for their candles be safe don't leave your candles on the time. anyway anyway oh gosh why can't these just say this is what it is mm. Mm. oh it's called them this was 3.95 so i guess it wasn't a part of the sale oh well still cheap Lufa, clean yourself. You, Missy, stay away from this. You, I know, will chew on it. Anyway, I got a... I got two of the um, body mists. One is in the stars, which smells amazing. And this was not a part of the sale. I paid full price for this. Yes, $14.50. Put those up there so Wednesday can't get to them. And then I got On the Waves. Let me see that okay. On the Waves. Put that over there. And then I got same scent, On the Waves, but I got their Sand and Sea Salt Body Scrub. Because, you know, when the, dry, when the cold weather be coming in here in the fall, in a few months, your girl's going to be dry. As the Sahara Desert. And the other thing I got that was in the beauty section is this Havana Tropical Luau hair perfume. So like you spray it in your hair and it makes your hair smell nice. And this is the Ultra Shape Body Cream. 
I used to have stickers on these so I could tell what the prices were. That's just what we're gonna go with. And, okay, the candles, were ha they were having a sale on those where they usually are $24.50 on select amounts. They were $10.50 each. So I paid $10.50 for each of the candles that I got in store, which are neatly wrapped. I had the girl wrap it twice. I got suntan. So that's what it looks like. And then I got beach cabana. Which both of these smell amazeballs. This one, the suntan, smells exactly like sunscreen. And I do like that smell. Because I, whenever I do go out like in the sun, like swimming and stuff, I put on like a ton of sunscreen. So I end up stinking like sunscreen at the end, so. And then the beach cabana. Na, 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 na. Smells so good. If this, if the ocean had a scent, I would want it to be this scent. And that's what I got in store. Now, online, not only did I buy candles, three of them to be exact, I bought hand soap. And I'm trying to get rid of my Lush soap so i've been using those a lot but i once i run out of those you know anyway um so let me go into the candles since we are on that i bought three candles they were each in the nine dollar and fifty seven fifty eight range um which is a lot cheaper than the in store but I got Chow Bella, which is a sweet tiramisu, I almost said flavor, scent, and oh, it smells so good. It smells like tiramisu, that coffee and cream and mm, the lady fingers, so good. So that's that candle. Next up would be and then, okay, the two candles that I was really wanting, which was the salted pretzel milkshake and the blueberry pie one. This is blueberry pie. I wanted to get them when I was in stores, but they were out. They were sold out, and I was so disappointed, but luckily I bought them online because they were a lot cheaper. Oh, I smelled it first because I couldn't wait to smell it. This is the blueberry pie. It's just a plain white. Oh. I should honestly bring out like the blueberry maple pancakes one because they kind of smell similar. But I think this one is more blueberry. The other one's more maple. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, man, so nice. Why do I like food scents? <laughs> like bakery scents? Probably because I'm addicted to eating them, I don't know. And then this is the one that I was really wanting, the salted pretzel milkshake i'm so excited to smell this one again oh it's, it's so good i'm i'm getting a hint of like caramel and chocolate i don't know if it tells me what the scents are creamy vanilla salty pretzel bits gooey chocolate drizzle there's the chocolate doesn't with essential oils but it doesn't really tell me if it has like caramel or anything, but that's fine. I still, it's nice to think that there is. Okay, moving on to the hand soaps. I got three of them. This is the Cactus Blossom, which this was part of the sale, I think. So this one was $2.35. Smells really nice. It's got a very like floral kind of scent. I don't really know what cactus blossom smells like. So if this is what it smells like, I guess it's true. There's that. And then I got cinnamon sugared donut, which I was wanting for a while. 
And that one I paid two thirty four for. It's very, very cinnamony. You definitely do get the donut part of it as like the cinnamon hits you first and then you get the sweet donut scent to it at the end. And then I have the blueberry crumble. And you see the theme with the blueberry and the bakery goods. And the Focus. Okay, there we go. Hey, that was kind of a long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna be filming all day today, so you might see me in the same outfit, but in different videos. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Be safe, because we just had a heat advisory. It got really hot here in Ohio, and I'm sure it was sweltering everywhere else too, except for maybe the Southern Hemisphere. They're in the middle of winter. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment out in the video if you want to discuss anything you saw in the video, and you know, just stay weird, guys. See you later.